Watcher everyone and welcome back to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I am your host Zeus and I bring you another Let's Long Play. Not many of these come up now and then because I've done the majority of them earlier on a few years back. Did loads of Let's Long Plays. This is where I can play a game all the way through without cheats. And um, I can't believe I haven't done this already. I remember doing Let's Long Play of Test Drive 1 without cheats on the Amiga. Um, I'll put that in the thumbnail at the end of the video so you can check that out. And that was to celebrate, I think it was the 30th anniversary of, or it might have been the 35th anniversary actually. It was, it was the 35th, I think, anniversary of, um, there we go, the dual test drive two. And a horny woman's voice there, aimed strictly at young teens, or later teens, I should say, whatever. Um, sex appeal sales, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I did a long play of Test Drive 1 to celebrate the, th I'm sure it's the 35th anniversary, it must have been, because 30th anniversary would have been 2017, it wasn't that far back, I'm sure, maybe it was, the years are going back so quickly, I think it was actually, that is a shock, yes it was, it was the 30th anniversary I did, and I can't believe I didn't have done this sequel, so we're going to do this now, we're going to play Test Drive 2 from start to finish without cheats. And um, there's some of my scores there. Uh, <coughs> um, coachal RIP, I wonder what that means. Oh, coachal as in, um, maybe that means, you know, like your RF and your analog. Well, I don't know, whatever. Right, first thing we got to do is, um, <coughs> gonna stick to normal scenery. We obviously want to play um, against a computer. And then we select our difficulty, and I sort of go a little bit sort of orangey. Yeah. Well, yeah, about a bit more than halfway. Very similar to Test Drive 1. Here we go. Let's go. And you can watch these police cars, they chase you as well. And the idea is you've got to reach the checkpoint. Very similar to Test Drive 1, but you must break uh, within the two lines of the checkpoint. Because if you stop afterwards, then you uh, you lose the race or you lose your life, something like that. Change gears. So very similar. You get a scenery disc as well with this. I've never tried that. You get extra car discs as well, but I could never get them to work back in the day when I had a crack copy. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, it's not too hard to complete, to be honest with you. Moves slightly faster, I should say, than Test Drive 1. And I remember seeing Test Drive 1 for the first time in a shop. That was the reason that I decided to um, upgrade for my 1 to 8K Spectrum. See, so here we go, break. You've got to get land between those two lines. There you go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I saw it on an Atari ST in the shop. Clean run, look at that. And um, yeah, that's when I thought, wow. I've got to get an Atari ST. Most kids upgraded to Atari ST. But about a year later, no more than that, I um, fell in love with the likes of Hybris on the Amiga when a friend showed it to me, and uh, the rest is history. The Atari ST went up for sale, and I've been an Amiga boy ever since. Right, that's race one, or whatever you call it. Okay, oh, we've got a hill now on the left. Uh, if I remember right, test drive on the Amiga, the original one had the mountain, the hillside on the right of the screen, all the way through the game. Yeah, was this developed? I wonder if this was developed in mainland, oh, that was terrible, in mainland Europe. Because us Brits drive, out of my way, on the left-hand side of the road. As you can see, we're driving on the right-hand side of the road here, and it's a left-hand steering, and we have right-hand steering over here. So, um, unless it's set in America, of course, then I'd understand it. But yeah, I always wondered that. I thought, if it's developed in Britain, these two games, why are we doing uh, the opposite side of the road? Whoa, a bit of swaying there. Fourth gear. It tells you in the top right-hand corner how many miles left to go. Distances. Whoa! Oh dear. Come on, move. 
Let's get those gear changes. Following this came Test Drive 3, The Passion, but that was only released on MS-DOS, and um, I've shown that on my channel. Um, I didn't like it. I can understand why they needed to go. They were going 3D polygon and all that lot, you know, um, pushing ahead with technology, that kind of thing. But the one thing I do remember, two things I remember, right? it's the bloody awful control uh, system. It was so skitty, I just couldn't control the car. But what stole the show, as far as awful goes, was the sound effects and the music on that game. It was dreadful. Oh, that engine noise. I'd challenge anyone to get a worse engine noise than that. You can check Test Drive 3 out of the passion and listen to that engine noise. Oh, God, help you. Nice bit of steering there. Oh, no way. Hmm. Yeah, I think the police can, here we go. He's beat me on that one. Git. Too much chain, not enough concentrating. Yeah, I think the police can pull you over. Hmm. Press button to continue. Okay. Uh, there's all your stats. Not really interested in any of that, really. <clears throat> right. Ah, change of scenery. Very nice. So, yeah, the frames obviously still very um, um, jerky especially when you look at it in today's eyes as opposed to back then um, but every racer everyone seems to model racers after Lotus 2 I don't know Lotus 2 on the Vigo oh there's a car oh he's pulled you over um, I suppose he's trying to come after me now but you have difficulty in a Ferrari F40 but yeah everyone seems to compare racing games to Lotus 2 that is the the creme de la creme isn't it that is the cream that rose to the top the frames of animation on Lotus 2 was absolutely phenomenal but this is a damn sight better than bloody Outrun isn't it on the Amiga let's put it uh, let's, let's look at it like that a bit of a zigzag oh, oh damn it that serves you right for turning gear and top gear that speed three lights left god oh. I think you get an extra life after every um, course, I should say. We'll find out shortly because I've got three lives left. Over here, potholes, plenty of them in Britain. <clears throat> it's like it's not fashionable if you don't have potholes in Britain. Potholes and traffic cones. Oh, Jesus, there we go. Potholes and traffic cones. That's the British way, isn't it? Council love potholes and traffic cones. Hey, Bob, we got three and a half billion traffic cones spare in that warehouse. Oh, better ask Bert where you want them put. I'm sure Bob would know where to put them. I'll stick them out for the fun of it just to piss off the drivers. Make their lives misery. Uh, we'll pretend we're working on the road and leave them there for about four weeks before we actually do anything. Oh no, hey, the Porsche's been written off. What happened to you? My last life, oh my word, no way. Come on, Darren. Terrible. Chatting too much. Concentrating. I need some extra lives. Can't afford to crash now. No, oh no, 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 don't crash in that tree. That's it. Keep going. Where is that bloody finish line? Another one and a half miles to go. Keep you on the road, sharp turn. Oh, the police. No, 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 no. Oh, I need to crash him. He's going to come after me now, and he told me to pull over. Sorry, mate. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, the Porsche is overtaking me. You were written off back there. How did you get back on the road so quickly? Less than a mile to go. Uh, nice corner in. Half a mile. I'm going to win this race, I don't think, but I must get to the finish line without dying again. Otherwise, I am. Uh, it's game over. Here we go. Oh, right, okay, you beat me on that one, you git. Oh, there's a police car. You can't pull me over because I'm finished the race. That was close. 
How the hell did he catch up with a Ferrari and a bloody Porsche? I crashed three times. There we go. I've got two lives now. Cool. I banked two lives because of that. So what I'm saying is it's quite generous with the lives if you pass the courses. Go fast. It's only a game. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's go. Five and a half miles of this one. Yeah, I can't believe I, 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 when I usually do a long Let's Long play and I can complete the sequel as well, I do the follow-up pretty soon, but I must have slipped my mind. So six years have gone past, six or seven years have gone past since I did Test Drive 1. That looks like Test Drive 1 because the hill's on the right-hand side. Yeah, so Test Drive 1 and 2 was done by Distinctive Software, whatever you call it. And Test Drive 3 was actually done by Accolade themselves in-house. Um, I don't know why they just... Oh, no, I don't know why they decided not to bring it on the Amiga and ST. Maybe it's because they were going down the Polygon route. Um, maybe the MS-DOS had more power to do that. I don't know. No idea. But I remember we were disappointed back in the day when we saw the... Um, the announcement, the flyer, Test Drive 3, but whoa, cool. And then we were brought down pretty quickly, uh, but the condition, uh, uh, the, the downside is it's not coming out on the Amiga or EST. That was close, and then you hit that wall then. That's good. Top gear now. Oh, no. Oh, that's good. So drop a gear. Over there. Oh, I just saw a smiley face written on the wall. If we get out of the car at that point and draw a smiley face on the on the mountainside. I always like the engine noise of this. It's it's kind of it's like an engine. It nearly fell off the edge. It's not like an engine noise. It's more like a whoosh sound, but it's quite nice. It seems to suit the game. Fourth. There go into fifth around these corners. One and a half miles left. Oh, drop a gear. Nicely, nicely. Couldn't see what that said. Score something. Again, somebody getting out, risking their lives just to write some on the wall. Down. No, oh, they couldn't get out of that. Under a mile left. Six lives. How the hell did I suddenly get six lives? How the hell did I suddenly get six lives? Where's the acid face again? Whatever. Um, I only had two to begin with. Well, either there's a bug in the game, which I can't imagine, or it's very generous of giving you lives. Ah, uh, you, you got done in again. Get out of my way. Get around you. What? Oh, go. Look at that. He's been bl flipping out. If I had a, if I knew someone that could fix uh, your body. Part up again on your car, your dents like that. Hey, you've been written off again, look. And now you've written me off, you bloody fast handbag. Five lives left. How the hell did I get all those lives? Anyway, I'm not arguing with it. Will you get out of my way, bloody fucking. Bro and he's beat me. You've been. Oh, really? Really? Ugh. What's that one, too? I might add, the ending is no different to whether you keep winning the races or losing the races. Um, you just... A sort of sexy police officer is standing next to you and you're smiling, thinking, yeah, I'm going to charm her. And she slips the handcuffs on you. Whether you win the game or you lose the game, doesn't matter. Whereas in Test Drive 1, you get to keep the car if you complete it. Six miles. I think this might be the last race now. Or maybe sure oh. <clears throat> Whoa. pull him over again a bit get out of the way right get some speed up get some speed up not going to fifth yet definitely not 
slow down, slow down. <laughs> How am I? Oh, no, I'm not going. Yeah, I can get past that. I should have slipped down a couple more gears. <clears throat> Go. Move. Off. That's third gear now, isn't it? Again, I don't want to change into gear yet. These are tight corners. Off, that's it. Okay. Right to go. Now we're going to fifth, I think. Sharp turn, down gears. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh. Four lives left. Go. Three and a half miles to go. Move, move. Side of the road. Three miles to go. There's a van coming. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Oh no. More on. Three lives left. Let's start throwing them away now. Speed, speed, speed. Oh, I've been down, I'm going too slow. And the bloody Porsche's overtaking me again. He keeps nicking my races. Always pips me at the end. You have to, oh, I blew the engine. Oh dear, I didn't change up a quick enough, did I? I'm losing all my lives here. this course too many bends one and a half miles to go just glimpsed that slow down oh, oh Christ as not again I've just wasted six lives come on can't afford to crash now Speed up, speed up. Oh, you must not crash, the voice is game over. Oh, get out of my way. Am I seeing things? Did he was he just written off and suddenly he's magically just bloody um, regenerated into a new car? Cars come in. Uh, go. Uh, oof. Come on, where's he? There he is. Come on. Ah, uh, you've been written off. I want to beat you this time. Get out of my way, car. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I can't go too fast because the bloody. I'll crash into him. Slow. Right, I beat you this time. Bloody Porsche. I crashed four times. You blew engine one time. You have two lives left. I've got two lives now. Press the button to continue. This must be the last race then. Who is winning this game? Of course it is. It can regenerate very quickly. And it's got infinite lives. This is the last race. Six and a half miles. Let's go. Careless, Darren, that's careless. I'm all over the place. I could have lost a life there. I assume you can die in a cactus. Don't know about real life, but in this game you can. That's a bit top 
gear. That's a bit dodgy to get around a corner like that. Yeah, let's go drop a drop a gear. At the moment, that Porsche is nowhere to be seen. Oh dear! Nine lives. How is that possible? This game's got confused. I had two lives beginning stage, and suddenly I've got nine. That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> And a lot I've got a trainer version. There's no trainer version, it's just a basic, yeah. But anyway, I've not done anything to go away, I'm not gonna stop for you. Chase me if you want to. I've got Ferrari F40, he is chasing me, look at that. There's another police car. Two of them. Always the way in it when you don't want one, you find loads of them. When you want one, you can't find a copper anywhere. Yeah, I don't know why it's giving me so many lives. Um, but I'm not complaining. was a bit lucky. That wasn't so. Eight lives left. Go. Off gear. That's good. Mind you, we've got a load of bloody lives now. Where they come from, I don't know. But they're not complete it now. Oh, smash. Uh, seven lives left. Yeah, this, this game is done. It's definitely the last race. Go, move. Fourth. Not third, sorry. What are you talking about? And yes, you can reverse in this game. Why you want to, I don't know. So yeah, you can get scenery discs, which make it more interesting, because most of this game is sort of this brown scenery, isn't it? Apart from that stage a minute ago where I had lots of trees. But back in the day, as I said, I couldn't work, work out how to load them. I remember putting the disc in and selecting on the menu, but it was, just wasn't having it. One and a half miles. Go. Speed up, speed up, speed down. Uh, that's what happens when you drive like a lunatic sharply round a corner. You get slightly killed. A bloody Porsche! One mile, just saw that. No! Nearly done for murder then. <laughs> oh, he's on my tail. Can't catch an F40, sorry. Half a mile, and there's the Porsche. Can I nip him at the end? I wonder. It's a bit close. I don't think I can. Can I get him? This will be something if I can get this last race and beat him. Yes, I've overtaken him. Finish line. Slow down. Yay! I nipped him on the last race. Up yours, Mr. Bish Porsche. And that's it. That's game completed. Uh, yeah, the computers won the game. It makes no difference. You get the same ending. You still get arrested, as you'll soon see. Um, thinking, you know, you can charm the officer, but no, she takes her job more seriously and uh, slaps the handcuffs on you. There you go. Disguised as probably somebody... Yeah, there we go. Disguised as someone that fills up your car with gas and you've been nicked, mate. So it's the same ending, whether you win the entire game or not. Makes no difference. As long as you do all the courses and complete them, that's the ending you'll get. So there we go. That's Test Drive 2, the duel on the Amiga. I hope you enjoyed that Let's Long Play with me, that cruise down the roads and lots of crashes and death and scenery and whatever you want with it. Um, yeah, classic game in the Amiga, Amiga's time. Obviously dated now, but it was good back in the day. But it's about time I did a lot of Let's Long Play of this. I, can't, I said I was shocked I didn't follow it up after the Test Drive 1. Let's long play, which will pop up in, in a minute, so you can go and check that out. That's a completion run without cheats too. You get to keep the car in that one, you don't get nicked. Right. Adios everyone, thanks for joining me for this edition of Let's Long Play. Take care of yourselves, I'll see you soon. Zeus, out.